making our way on the stunning scenic Jasper towards the Rhine and Moselle rivers. But first, we're back in the grassy farmlands of the Netherlands. I see you little disguise And it's enough to call me The word Netherlands literally means low lands because 65% of the Netherlands sits below sea level, which can be a problem and was when the devastating storms and floods of 1953 hit. So the Dutch needed a solution and hence we have the Delta Works. The Delta Works is the world's biggest storm surge barrier, located near the town of Via. In an incredible feat of engineering, it was built to protect the residents of this area from another catastrophic flood. To remember the lives lost in 53, a museum experience has been created to simulate what it was like for the villagers when the North Sea flood caught them unaware in the dark of night. It's a dire combination of wind, high tide and low pressure that raised the water 5.6 metres above sea level. And they came up with this crazy, crazy idea, completely out of the blue. <laughs> yes, really. Yeah, we are proud. We are proud, mm. you know. And they constructed a dam that uh, is fitted with 62 steel gates or doors that can be lowered in case of emergency, you know? Now considered one of the seven wonders of the modern world, this imposing structure can shut off the waterway in just 75 minutes. It has already been closed 27 times. Back in Veer, and it's well worth exploring on wheels. Scenic have these fantastic e-bikes. They're electric, so they give you that little bit extra oomph and power when it's needed. Oh, yep. Oh! Of course, you can't cycle the Netherlands without ogling at one of the country's biggest icons. Look at the mill. Oh, it's beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? And actually, it's not that old. Built in the 1890s. And it has a funny name. The name is the cow. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, people, nobody knows. All these mills have these special names, like the cow, the hare, the lily, and nobody knows why. Historically, the role of windmills was largely to pump water out of the lowlands and back into the rivers so the land could be used for farming. This mill, however, is being used for grinding corn. It doesn't take long to realise why Veer is said to be one of the prettiest towns in the Netherlands. But it's easy to be fooled by the town hall's romantic aesthetic. Now, have you ever seen things like that before? Like those two stones hanging there? No. It had to do with punishment. When you had done something really small, like stealing a loaf of bread for your hungry children, and you were caught and you were found guilty, then you had to stand there with the stones hanging around your neck oh. so that everybody would know what you had done. And then people, if it was really bad, people could throw their rotten eggs at you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what would be considered really bad? Well... Two loaves well, well, of bread. Well, yeah, two <laughs> loaves of bread. <laughs> A couple of minutes away and you'll find this treat for the sweet tooth traveller. Oh, look, have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> it's a Dutch candy store. It's called Oma Snoepwinkel. You have to go in and try something. I will. Try the Zeeuwse boterbabbelaar. <laughs> what? what? The Zeeuwse boterbabbelaar. <laughs> it's in the blue tin over there. OK, I'm going to try it. It's the local candy. Some spooky. It's really oh, good. <laughs> you cannot even pronounce it, I think. I can't, but the name means the buttery chatterbox of Zealand because it takes so long for one to mount in your mouth, you'll stay longer That's and so babble nice. on. Is it bubble gum? No. Oh. It's bubble gum. It's a hot candy, it's actually. Hot and made of butter, that's where the name comes from. Butter it's very sugar. buttery. Oh. It mm. tastes very caramelly. Mm. Yes, it's like butterscotch. Mm. You took the words right out of mm. my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> On 
board, it's no easier to avoid temptation. The River Cafe is stocked full of delicious sweets and snacks for all day grazing.